Hey, what's going on guys? So our next review is going to be on this Jackal Boil Trigger. <coughs> oh, excuse me. This is a uh, fairly new bait. It's um, They call it a topwater popper walking bait all in one. Uh, the most uh, noticeable feature on it is that, other than the cupped mouth, is that it has this joint in it. Uh, so um, had some experience on the water. Going to go ahead and talk about uh, what we... What what I saw and uh, and some of the uh, the selling points of the lure, I guess. Uh, it has a, an overall length of four inches. This is the Boil Trigger 100. Um, it says 100, like there's another size, but you you go to Jack All's American website. I didn't even see it on their American website, but it has an overall length um, of four inches, and it has a weight of three eighths of an ounce. Obviously, it's a top water floating lure. Go ahead and take a measurement for you guys. Um, from, the, from the hook hanger to the front, it's exactly four inches. And without that hook hanger, it's about three and seven eighths, three and three quarter inches. So very cool lure. Uh, it has just what you would expect from uh, a jackal lure. It has very, very nice fit and finish. The, the colors that, uh, that are offered in the lineup are amazing, uh, just like you would expect from any other jackal lure that, uh, that I've come to really like when I buy jackal products. When I bought this lure, <clears throat> I expected it to be, because of its long and slender profile, I expected it to be more of like an exaggerated walking motion in the water, kind of like if you popped it and twitched, twitched your rod tip, it would shoot over and, and just have a really um, uh, a very dynamic movement to it. <clears throat> what I actually saw on the water was uh, very different than what I expected. My first impression on the water was that it seemed to be a very good dead sticking bait, meaning that when I throw it out there, it kind of just... Uh, because it sits like this in the water on its side. In fact, as you see it on my finger, it kind of wants to sit in that direction. Well, that's pretty much how it sits in the water too. It sits kind of on its side, which is good because it offers that really nice profile on the, on the side. So why I say it would be a very good dead sticking bait is because it looks like a dead fish in the water. And if you kind of just twitched it a little bit, that pop, uh, that, that cupped popping mouth that it has on there, uh, would really exaggerate some of the uh, characteristics of a dead fish with it, you know, kind of spitting water and, and what have you. So if you can kind of refine the technique when you're using this this lure in the water, I think you're going to be fairly impressed with the results that, that you get. Um, it does have a rattle. You can hear the rattle in there. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be a lure that you're going to be using or uh, taking full advantage of that rattle a lot just because of the fact that the way I would use it, I would I would actually use this as a popper, but a popper that I would throw in uh, very, um, I would throw it in places that uh, that that I required a lot of accuracy, maybe in uh, in areas that had. Uh, a lot of weeds and then there was like a center in the middle of the weeds or in the middle of the weeds there was this area of open water I would take this bait throw it in there probably pop it once or twice and just let it sit there and then bring it back just because it does offer up a, a good profile once it's in the water um, as a popper I would say that it works pretty decent uh, maybe a little bit above average as a popper as a walking bait I would say it's not a walking bait because it doesn't it, at least for me um, I'm, I don't claim to be the best, uh, uh, walk the dog fisherman, if you will, or, or top water, walk the dog fisherman, but, um, I'm competent in that technique. And this, uh, this lure does not want to walk that well, if at all. Um, but it does work well as a popper. So I look at what Jack all says in their description, at least on tackle warehouse <clears throat> and Jack, uh, Jack, Excuse me. Tackle Warehouse usually gets their descriptions of their lures from the manufacturers, um, or from the box at least, and uh, it calls it a popper walking bait all in one, and that to me is kind of misleading. Um, I don't think that it is much of a walking bait, but I do think it is uh, a different and a cool popper. So, uh, so don't let the long and slender profile of it fool you. It does work as a popper. And 
I think it'll offer up a pretty cool um, profile once it's in the water. Everything else is uh, as you would expect from a, a Jackal product, like the fit and finish, uh, good terminal tackle that are, that are on it with the oval split ring. The split ring on it is interesting because, <clears throat> as with the uh, the rest of the uh, the the rest of the what do you call it uh, the hardware on it is is interesting because Jackal normally uses black nickel plated hardware from their split rings even the oval split ring in the front and I know it's a it's the same one that they normally use because the split ring on the front has it's that split ring that that where it only doubles over um, once and on the other side it's just it's just one layer of split ring where on the other side it's it's stacked um, and that's something that Jackal has used. I don't know what kind of hardware they normally use on, on their product, but uh, it's very consistent from, from hard bait to hard bait. Um, but the difference is, is this one isn't black nickel plated and neither are the split rings on the hook hangers and neither are the hooks for that matter. The hooks are a, um, uh, I guess they're chrome plated at least, maybe a, a, a just a standard nickel plated, but they're not black. Um, I would probably, I will probably end up replacing these hooks with something else just because that's my personal preference and I'm uh, kind of quirky like that and I like to have my hard baits to have black nickel plated hooks. It doesn't mean that these hooks are any less of a hook, it just means that they're different. So, and I, and I do believe that they're probably every bit as um, high in quality as, as the, the hooks that they normally use. Um, go ahead and take a look at this eye here. Uh, you guys have all seen the standard jackal eyes that they use on their hard baits. Uh, I've really come to like these things a lot because there's just so much detail in that eye there. Um, has a light feather on it, maybe two light feathers on there with a <clears throat> with a um, a white thread that's kind of keeping that all in place there. So. Um, it's a really nice lure. I've actually, uh, I'm very interested to see what it's gonna perform like for me this spring and this summer, uh, just because I think that it is a really different looking bait. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna work like a popper, but it's jointed and it and it's gonna offer up something where it sits sideways. You're, the fish are possibly going to see a little bit more profile, maybe that color, where colors normally don't come into play on a topwater lure. Uh, and this may or may not come into play on this lure, but I think when you offer up the side profile of a lure like that, I think that you are at least putting it in the discussion again of what color you should get just because of the fact that uh, you're actually seeing the side of the lure or the fish would be seeing the side of the lure. Uh, like I said, it may or may not make a difference. Uh, that that will be yet to be determined, I guess. So uh, go ahead and go over these colors here. I think that this first one I have here is just called Baby Bass, and it is. Uh, Baby Bass has this dark, almost, I don't know if you can see it, it's almost got kind of a, like a, like a red flake. It almost looks like a, like a, a Zoom California 420, and I know that some of the people that follow me on Facebook really, really appreciate the reference to Zoom here, but uh, that, that red flake that's in there, it almost looks like a, um, a California 420 color that, that you would find in some soft plastics. And then also you have that standard baby bass um, color there on the side or pattern on the side there with that white belly and the red transparent cupped mouth. So there's baby bass. Next color we have here is Threadfin. I think it's SG Threadfin. Yeah, SG Thread th SG Threadfin. It's just a Threadfin shad profile or uh, pattern. Uh, it's got that scale. It's a painted scale on there, um, scale pattern on the top there. You can see it says boil trigger right on the top. I don't know if I mentioned that already. You got a chartreuse line with that black shad dot and again with that white uh, kind of pearl belly there and the same red transparent cupped mouth that you'll find in almost I think all of their poppers that they have so 
There's SG Threadfin. All right, guys. So there it is. Um, I definitely like this lure. Um, I I personally have used a lot of Jack All products. I really like their stuff. I think that they they're one of the manufacturers that do it right. They they put out everything that they put out is very consistent. You're going to pay a little bit more uh, of a what you would call a premium price for their lures, but you get consistency from lure to lure. You know what you're going to get right out of the package. You know it's going to work. You know it's going to perform. You know it's, you know it's going to look nice. So, uh, and for me as a hard bait fisherman, that's something that. Uh, I really appreciate. So if you guys like the video, hit the like button down here in the lower left corner. I appreciate that. And stay tuned for the next review. Um, to, and I'll try to keep you guys posted on Facebook. You guys can go to my Facebook page. If you guys aren't already on there, uh, send me a friend request and I'll accept everyone. All right, guys. Take care.